Hello, royal folks. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry opened up about his and Meghan Markle's wedding day during their six-part documentary series on Netflix. Harry and Meghan, which aired earlier this month, detailed the blossoming of their romance, experiences of life as working royals, and their shock decision to leave. The fourth episode opened with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex recalling their wedding, describing their ceremony at George Chapel in Windsor, the music partly chosen by King Charles III, and the moment they laid eyes on each other as they prepared to say their vows. The whole thing was surreal, Meghan said about walking down the aisle. It was at that moment I could also see eight. Liz Garbus, the director of the docuseries, then asked Harry, What was going through your head when you saw her coming? The prince replied, Look at, look at me, look what I got, before Meghan interjected, laughing. Oh my gosh. Harry continued, Look what I, look what I found. The world was watching us, but when we were actually at the altar, as far as I was concerned, it was just the two of us. The Daily Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers picked up on Harry's comment, arguing the prince corrected himself after seeming to be a bit misogynistic. In conversation with Zoe Forsey for their podcast, Pod Save the King, Mr. Myers said, He qualified himself afterwards because he realized it was a bit misogynistic. He definitely had to pull the handbrake up on that one. However, Miss Forsey argued that Harry's recollection was really lovely, saying he was simply sharing what went through his mind when he saw her looking absolutely beautiful in that gorgeous gown. Meghan did not seem too phased by her husband's comments, telling the documentary soon after, H and I are really, really good at finding each other in the chaos. When we find each other, we reconnect to be, like, oh, it's you, it's you. It's not that the rest of it doesn't matter, but the rest of it feels temporary, she continued. A friend of the couple added, It felt like a moment where the world paused and celebrated love. I remember watching him look at her, and I almost started to cry. Harry and Meghan were married in Windsor on May 18, 2018. The royal wedding saw thousands of people line the streets and millions tune in across the world to see the ceremony. But according to few royal experts, that was the only day when whole royal family celebrate anything with Harry and Meghan, as after that things didn't go well between Sussex's and royal family. The Sussex's relationship has seemingly stood the test of time, however, the same cannot be said for their roles within the royal family. Since their exit in 2020, relations between the couple and members of the firm have been strained, and their explosive Netflix documentary may only add fuel to the fire. The final episode saw Harry and Meghan accuse both the palace and the media for contributing to their exit, alleging that lies were told to protect Prince William and royal households were pitted against each other to benefit the hierarchy. Harry said, They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. None of the UK-based royals have responded to the claims made in the docuseries and no comment is expected to be made. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about royal family. Thank you.